Hi, welcome to Thirsty Thursdays. I'm R2K, and of course, everyone's gotten to know Robert Keys, younger yes, brother. Yes, yeah, we are R2K. R2K. Welcome to our second week at this, and uh, I think it's going pretty well. What do you think? It's fine. Yeah, we we're gonna do better. No, but no sponsors yet. <laughs> no. no sponsors. Creakychairs.com. Yeah, <laughs> creaky chairs. Yeah, there you go. Uh, so what are we going to dabble in this week? Well, we have a few ideas. We have the Battle Axe North Battleford and what they've done in the past year since we've joined. Also, your EP. We promised that last week. So yeah, we'll, we'll talk a bit about what your EP that's coming up. Yeah. And also just a little bit more about you, because I think we missed out a little bit last week of uh, all the details. I, think, I don't know. What's there to talk about me? No. But anyways, let's pour a drink. Yeah, we'll start with that first. and. Join us again. Join us. If you want to pause it, we're gonna sit right here. We're gonna wait. Pause it. Grab a cold one. You don't have to pour. <laughs> we'll just crack a beer. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, we're back. Pour it. Pour it. Pour it. Pour it. Yeah. Pour it up. Lots of head. I like it when I get lots of head. Oh, doesn't everybody? <laughs> so it's uh first thing. We're gonna get into is the Bax War stories that uh, yes. I'd have to say is the the few things I've been a part of since. So, from tell my us, from about my us. story, Battle Axe to me yes. has always been since I was like a wee guy on a skateboard. There's Battle Axe records, and, if, and from those guys like you know that album that Mad Child Prevail had done. Great and for bad dreams and yeah. stuff, and then made me really interested in their prior uh, projects. But you know, from Buck Fifty to Sun Doobie and all that crowd, and like Dilated People's got their whole yeah. thing going on. But they were a part of all, and like Battle Axe Records was like so great to me. And then moving back here and knowing my longest friend is just uh, he's like the DL of a Battle Axe. I was like, wow, I got to be a part of that. So yeah. this is a little bit about what we've seen and been involved with since we've joined with the Battle Axe and we joined Battle Axe NB in particular. Yes. For the Battle Axe NB we joined that one in middle of October, I think it was. And so it was about the Thanksgiving weekend around there we joined and then we went to our first meeting early November. And since then we've we put on many shows, not well, just us, got, but the whole group. There's lo lots of good shows and that goes to all the guys in the division doing all their parts, you know. Yeah. But uh, the things I'd like to highlight would have to be that, you know, got to know Sequel really well. And uh, it was the hip hop showcase that we really all joined together and we put our money down. We rented the place in North Battle. And we brought the local artists and they all jumped on board and like much love to those guys for doing that show for free because it really helped what it is that we're trying to do and make a positive movement in the hip hop scene and it went off really well we had a really good turnout we made a lot of money off the pizza pizza and the merchandise and you know we had pop and it was an all ages thing we had just a few brews for the guys that are old enough and we, R2K has merchandise as well so yeah. I'll plug we'll, that one. we'll plug that. Plug that. Yeah, buy my shirt because it'll pay for my EP, which we'll it's get into out. later. Yeah, yeah, it's coming out. Yeah, we're working on that. But uh, yeah, so the hip hop showcase and coming up in the future, you know, we've got a couple members to do the Moto X thing. You might want to look into that one. We'll get into that more. So I'd like to bring them in as a yeah. guest. Before yes, yes. in the fall, I do know that some of the guys got some big things coming up. We'll get into that later, but uh, we do have a skate event in North Battleford. If anyone watching this is from North Battleford and rides a skateboard, come out. We will, with our Digital Keys DJs thing that we do based out of here, we'll provide music. I'll be all over the microphone talking too much as I do here. And they also have customized skateboards for the Battle Axe 306. So if you want to contact and anybody for that, it's Josh Walner. Yeah, uh, and uh, there'll be prizes for best trick and all. I feel like it's a giant stuff. commercial right now. <laughs> yeah, Pumping we need like flash promo, promo, promo. Yeah, we'll call one eight hundred Max for it. No, other than that, I think what else we got coming up in the future? Uh, your EP. Let's do that. 
My EP is in the works. It's been a long time coming. Uh, I really buckled down since I kicked a lot of nasty habits. Moving back to Cut Knife was a big help. That was about and, uh, like three years now. Yeah, well, it's two years, two years, two years. yeah, two years, and uh, you know, it's amazing what will happen for you when you kick those bad habits. Like, I'm not going to diss on you guys in your 20s, you know, go to your Toonie Tuesdays and your wing nights and do that, live that life, but when it starts winding down, it really brings things into focus, and for those of you that are really driven, you know, try to stay away from that if you really want this at a very young age. You gotta stay focused and not be distracted because I was easily distracted. Just, just the OCD, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> What's up? <laughs> but, okay, so with my EP, I'm uh, gonna call it the Battle Axe, the Maniac EP. I came up, it actually stems from a track I did when I was like 15. I wrote it in bed when I should have been studying my homework. Called the Maniac. And the way I always envisioned it was like I'm a maniac on the lyrics that I happen to write. So now with this EP that I've written and I'm almost completed, I'm going to have a sequel feature on it. Pat I'm going to have Pat Grimm of Brothers Grimm see, uh, You guys already on. performed live. Yeah, we got to perform live together. It's the 911. Man, much respect and love to the Brothers Grimm, Calm and Pat. You guys are amazing guys. It's, it's great to see family like that. It's like... It truly is family. You just meet them and you feel like you know them your whole life. So we're gonna have those guys on there. My biggest thing is like, cause I have kids growing up. It's uh, and I know they all swear, and I've sat down and spoken with my oldest and uh, about swearing and the appropriate times and this and that. So it's not like it gets out of hand because you know we do live in the prairie and there's a lot of farmers and when you're sitting on a tailgate after a long day some cuts there's a time and place in the locker room but not at the checkout line at Sobeys you know what I'm saying so anyway <laughs> I try to hold back on the profanity if there is any it's very minimal and it's something that you can all listen to but it just it really does stem from a darker place because I do like the dark grimy hip hop and it is more motivational than anything. Uh, strength. Strength is an album. My brother, the way this all happens is like we he brings me beats and I freestyle on them until with something lightning strikes and then we just roll with that. So beat makers, please send them to us. Yeah, because uh, whatever I bring, I don't make the beats. I can't so I'm guarantee on. you I'm going to fall in love with your beat or magical strike, but uh, yeah. Send them to Robert. Uh, or it's just what's your email? Or what we'll send it to your link because it's r2k at hip hop at gmail.com. Well, and the link will be right below okay. in the description. Well, there you go. So send me your beats, and what I do is I just I freestyle on to Lightning Strikes. So we got one called Strength. Yeah. It's a very country style beat. It, uh, it speaks a lot about what my wife has gone through and myself about addictions. It's gone through a lot of what my wife went through, and I have to say it was a big part of what I went through with her depression uh, postpartum after our child and it was a rough goal I must say like I had a pretty serious head injury I have no sense of smell anymore that's something a lot of people take into they, they're shocked by because I really I cannot smell anymore because I was on a skateboard and I was 20 some years old and I was drunk and I was carrying on and I wiped out and I hit my head pretty seriously so it's not a joke to wear a helmet you guys but I know it's not cool but like uh, the best advice I can give is uh, you're sober and you're doing your thing I got confidence in you but if you're drunk screwing around with your buddies it wouldn't hurt to put a helmet on it put me in the emergency room and I got my brain bled out and they wanted to drill a hole in my head and I would not let them do that so I had to throw up blood clots that drained through my nasal passage through my brain and my stomach for three days and I went through like two months of like recovery and nothing was a sweeter moment than stepping on a skateboard or skating on ice again and then to gain the knowledge I'd gotten to becoming a I like to think a pretty damn good carpenter and a superintendent who run pretty big jobs uh, is a blessing so, anyway, I got sidetracked. I like to ramble. Which is fine. Where, where are we on? We're on the EP. <laughs> the beauty of editing. 
Well, cheers for that. Okay, so Strength. Strength was an album dedicated to that. Got also an L, uh, track on there with Pat called 911. And that's your typical hype track. Dial 911 because we're coming to just tear the tear the place apart because it's just with our lyrical They do. It's literally we, like, we you play the song, the you're mixing. And it, it's sampled from an old uh, Jay-Z, uh, you know, track. The Jay Z actually horns. sampled before that, yeah. and it's, it's true hip hop. It's just yeah. sampling on sampling. That's what hip hop is. So uh, other than that, you know, I'm working on one with sequel. It's gonna be a little more bluesy, dark. I like to stay in the dark realm. Uh, music box seems to be a hit with a lot of people. Yeah, and it's a big sim uh, simile metaphor track about you know what you're trapping in your music box, and then when you open it and you hear you know those things in your head that you're trying to keep. Closed, nah, uh, a lot of that, and your typical introducing myself tracks and everything else. And if everyone it's, can get behind that, that'd be great. It's the very first official EP. This is going to be press, as we're going to try and send it out to everybody. That and we're going to try and record it all here in home base. Yeah. So it's not going to be your fanciest, uh, most production value, but I'm going to talk with a lot of guys and see if we can't dress it up. It's well, like you said, though, how else? Or how did everybody else start, right? Yeah, well, you, you're going to look at all these other guys and you got to start somewhere, right? So yeah. we're starting... They didn't with start out at a mansion. And we're out in the prairie, so give us a break. We just... We <laughs> don't even got... Uh, what do you call that? Uh, internet there. Uh, High speed? Dial-up? <laughs> MySpace? We're not on dial-up no more. No, no we're not on MySpace. We have, we have crank phones here. Uh, no, no, no. Uh, no, but it, let's just say it takes a boat half a day to upload this video to you guys. It does. So we'll, That's surprising. It takes this a guy time. is the mastermind. He went to producing school. So he's, he, or not producing school, sorry, my man. Broadcasting. Broadcasting, broadcast, yeah. School. And so, tell me a bit about that. Uh, well, I went there. I left and I learned almost as much as I could. Working. Which goes to show with the budget, right? I mean, yeah. I know how to frame a good <laughs> picture. Is yeah. really how. Is where we're doing this all on a podium with a with a phone. Pretty much, yeah. It's my actual phone. I mean, if you could find Waldo in this picture, good on you. Well, and that stems into the studio build, right? This is this is actually. I am the second owner of this home. This was actually a little shop. This guy built model trains, and I gutted the whole place. And it wasn't without the blessing of my father that I actually decided to get on board with this because I am. First and foremost, a family man. It's my family come first. But with me needing to be at home more and less traveling around playing hockey, I just built this place. And my brother gave me the hand, and my wife, and me, you know, with a little bit of elbow grease, slapped up a. Uh, this actually behind yeah. us is a recording There's booth. There's a door right there. This is the recording booth. It's soundproof with uh, everything over there in the computer. And we just we line the place with the inspiration of posters and artists that we've grown up, up this, with yeah, listening yeah. to. So, so that's, we could give you a tour, maybe like what, like week uh, ten or something. We'll yeah, just give a tour. We'll give you a quick, or yeah. even just a random post of a quick yeah. swipe of the place. But uh, yeah, other than that, we got uh, a lot of things coming up. And uh, I'm glad that you guys choose to continue watching this. And yeah, we really appreciate it. So if this with the low going, budget that we have, if we got a Wayne's World vibe. It's coming. We're gonna really? build on it. We, I'd really like to bring in uh, a lot of guests here. They're coming soon, so stay tuned for that. And we have hashtag Creaky Chair. <laughs> so uh, I guess the end thing is just subscribe and follow him. Yeah, Mark and um, big thing, working on music videos. Yes. For those of you that do enjoy my tracks that I post, and it's just me in here ripping it up, we will, I promise you, make some music videos. Around here is my yep. goal. This will be uh, awesome. I got a brother-in-law with a drone, and we're going to take some wide shots. We're going to work in and around a lot of the areas of this town and really pump this place up. So shout out to Cut Knife, shout out to Battle Axe. Much love to Brothers Grim, Rocco. Uh, everybody from Rain, I really want to work with Rain, man. Yeah, we need him in, yeah, in this interview right here. He'd be yeah. an excellent yeah. candidate and, uh, and sequel. For those of you that don't drink, 
you know, much strength to you. For those of you that don't exactly. drink and have a puff, all the power to you. I used yeah. to be that guy for many a year. And, uh, you know, join us in next week. Have a puff, have a drink, sit there with your uh, energy drinks. And uh, if yeah. you're looking for that perfect pick-me-up drink, you know, contact me, New Sarity, look it up. They got a, quite the drink. It's changed my wife's life when it comes to her depression. And it's it's not nothing uh, pharmaceutical, so it's great. Absolutely. So just get at me with both Check that below too. We'll put links below. Yeah, we'll put links below. Yeah, we'll put her you. phone number. You could call her and let everybody so, know. Another uh, successful Thirsty Thursday to you and yours. And we'll just finish these glasses and we'll say goodbye. Cheers to Battle Axe. Peace. Peace.